Well, uh, fellers, I'm going through a region right now where it's raining around me, so that's why it's a little bit dark. So, for those of you who know already, I think I mentioned, mentioned this before in my other videos in the past, I'm from a third world country on the eastern side of the world, so a very poor country. And in my country, I'm actually mixed. So, in my country, the women don't act like they do in the, in the West. At least not yet. They're, they're not brainwashed with feminism yet. The men are still the prize. Their men are the kings still. Even the women are trying to change that narrative because... And I don't blame them too much, those, those ladies there in those third world countries, because those men are just assholes. Those men are no good. And they're doing what... They're torturing those women in those third world countries how these women are torturing us in the west so that's why you'll find third world country women very much more feminine than, than the western girls because they have to still rely on a man so one of, one of my mom's relative son right I think I think this is my like my second cousin or third cousin something like that right not friend sorry one of my mom's relatives uh son. did i say son i can't remember what i said but yeah it's my second or third cousin he's 10 years older than me 10 or 12 years older than me so i'm 22 he's like either 32 or 34 this guy told my mom the other day that he's been dating a girl for the past five years and she broke his heart and she left him for somebody else because he was a bum he wasn't doing anything with his life and she probably most likely found a better deal this is what we always say fellas that is that female is that women's nature is universal female hypergamy exists universally if you don't do anything for for, for a woman she's not going to stay with you when she finds a better deal point back point blank period just like if a woman is not giving you consistent sex and it's not looking good if she starts to put on weight get fat you're gonna you're gonna dump her too same thing goes with women so he's 32 34 he didn't even shave for the past six months or even longer and it's not because of covid it's because he just got his heart broken and my mom kind of told him a kind of gave a little bit of senses into his mind put, try to put a little little sense into, into his mind saying hey cut this bullshit get your shit together, do something with your life, make some money. Like this dude probably, like I heard that he doesn't even have any job. He's not even doing much. A 32 year old, come on now. I understand the country where I'm from doesn't have a whole lot of opportunity. But fellas, I always talk about this. We have everything that's needed to become a successful person, to create a happy life. All the elements, materials, chemicals, it's in us. We just have to reach deep down Find that burning fire within ourselves and make shit happen. So, he shaved his beard up, yeah, sure, because my mom told him to, like, because he looked like a caveman. He needs to get to get his shit together. I guess that's, that's the first step to get your shit together, right, is to groom yourself because, you know, you look at yourself in the mirror, you feel a little bit, you feel, you feel a little bit better about yourself, your confidence goes up a little bit, and then you tell yourself, you know what, I look good, I feel good, I'm going to go make a good living now i'm gonna go make things happen so yeah sure i'll give him that but that's not enough my bro if you're watching this video just know that she moved on with her with her life the girl who you're dating for five, for the past five years she moved on i promise you the girl who i was dating for a year and a half who broke my heart who helped me find the red pill cheated on me with the guy i told her not to be friends with So women always have another option lined up, always. Maybe in that country, in, in, or in the country where I'm from, the third world countries, maybe women don't have as many options as they do in the West, but they will always have a option, I promise you. Even if it's just another guy. Even if the other guy is slightly better than you, she'll take it. Slightly better, just a little bit better, she'll take it. This is called women's hypergamy. Look it up. Do your research on this. So, you need to get your shit together, bro. You have to get your shit together. Right now, 
you should not be worrying about getting with any other woman. You should not be worrying about marriage. You should not be worrying about settling down, making a family, having kids, none of that. Right now, what your focus should be is making money. If you didn't go to college or if you did go to college or whatever you did, I don't know what you did. Right now, your first priority is to make money. It has to be that. I know it's, it's, it's easier said than done, but I'm giving you step-by-step -step instructions what you need to do. You have to start making money. Forget the gym, forget working out, forget eating healthy. We'll get to that in a little bit, but right now the very first thing you need to do is make money. Whatever it is that you do, whatever job that, you, that it is if you do. If you have to clean toilets, if you have to like literally clean other people's shit from their toilets with your own hands, bare hands, do it. However it is that you have to make money, go make it. If you have to drive people around, if you have to pull carts to haul people from one place to another place, we call it a rickshaw in, the, in that country, do it. Whatever labor you have to do, if you don't have any skills, do it. Immediately start working. The second step what you need to be doing is you need to start building a skill on the side or in education. Maybe you have, maybe go to go to college, get a degree while you are working. Keep in mind you have to keep working. You cannot stop working. You're 32 years old. Time's running out. You have to start working. You have to start making money. That's your first step. While that's going on, now you incorporate incorporate uh, getting a skill or getting a license or getting a certification, whatever it is. You wanna teach uh, scuba diving? You wanna teach, I don't know, whatever it is that you guys do in your country. Because I left my country like 10 years ago, so I don't know how the economy is there now. So whatever it is that you're doing in your, in your society, in, in your uh, neighborhood, in your city, whatever it is that people need something a, a help with, and you, you know that if you go to college or if you get a six months or seven months online course certification, whatever it is, you learn how to uh, be an electrician, you learn how to be a plumber, you learn how to be, I don't know, a welder, whatever it is, get a skill while you are working. Because if you're doing hard labor, physical labor, job construction or whatever, those jobs are not very reliable because you don't have any certificate if this job goes away. If this job goes away, now you have to start from ground zero. But you have a certificate, if you have a skill or a degree from a college, now if one job fires you, you can take that piece of paper and you can take it to another employer and tell them, hey, I have experience, I have the knowledge, hire me. But if you don't have that, nobody's gonna take you seriously. Now, if you have to move out of your town, your city, your place, your state, wherever you're living, your neighborhood, to go make this money, to go get this skill, get this job, get this education, get this degree, do it. Do not let your family hold you back. Do not fall into this trap of, you know what, I can't leave my family. I'm too family oriented of a person. Do not think like that. Brother, you're going to lose. You've already lost so much time in your life. I'm sure you spend a whole, a whole lot of money on this girl too. You already lost all of that. She's living her best life. She's probably sucking some other dude off right now. She's probably in bed with another guy. That's not you. The things that you guys used to do in bed, she's doing the exact same things with another guy. Think about that. Let that piss you off. Let that be your motivation to do better in your life. You, you're hurt, I know you're hurt. Use this hurt, use this pain as a, as a fuel for your fire to, to keep it burning. I know it sounds cliche, but use this, motiva use this as, a, as a motivation to keep doing better things, bigger things. Because when you feel like 
you're gonna give up and I know for a fact you're gonna feel like that a lot more times than you think when you're out here grinding making money trying to get your education done trying to get your certificate trying to get your uh, skill whatever there's gonna be tons more tons of times when you're gonna feel like giving up but only then that's when you're gonna think to yourself that I need to keep going I need to prove her wrong and prove myself right not because I want to get back with her but because this is something I'm doing for myself I need to prove myself right I don't know man this helped me a lot when I got my heart bro heart broken and I came down I moved my sit town to come to another town to go to college for my engineering degree I kept telling myself every time my classes got hard every time I failed a test I even failed a couple of classes and every time I did that I, I felt like giving up but I say you know what no I gotta keep going I gotta keep going I reminded myself the pain I was going through that the girl that girl put me through and I told myself no I'm gonna use this pain I'm gonna show her off I'm gonna show her what she missed I'm gonna I'm gonna show her it's her loss now is it going to be her loss is it going to be that way at the end of the day maybe maybe not who cares but that's a different type of mindset you're not gonna you, you're not gonna have that mindset yet so that's what I'm telling you right now just think to yourself it's her loss she lost me it's her loss that I'm not in her life it's her loss that I'm not in her life anymore and I'm gonna be so much greater and better than her that she's going to regret losing me right now just keep that mindset in your head eventually you will get to a state in, in your mindset where you will where you will tell yourself hey you know what I don't even care if she wants me or not I have so many more girls in my life now I'm perfectly happy with doing what I'm doing but don't worry about that right now but for now if you have to move get the hell out of where you're living especially if, if wherever, wherever you're living doesn't have enough opportunities you always need to go where the opportunities are next what I want you to do bro is start working out you don't have to have a gym membership you don't have to spend a whole lot of money I've seen what you look like you need a lot you're still a you're a newbie work uh, lifter right so you can get a lot of things accomplished a lot of things done just doing at-home workouts just do 200 push-ups a day and 100 pull-ups a day and do some crunches do 100 or 200 do 200 crunches a day okay and then do 500 squats air squats actually don't even do the squats run run a mile or two a mile or two it's not gonna take you that long start doing exercise at home you have access to the internet look up exercises at home exercises from the from YouTube there's tons of fitness videos my favorite channels are Scott Herman fitness uh, athlean X but I usually just watch him to uh, do the exercise correctly to see what the right form is because he's a physical therapist athlete next right but to know workouts and what to do what not to do do your research instead of worrying about how to get girls instead of instead of doing research on how to get a, how to get your ex-girlfriend back I'm sure you have been on YouTube tons of times watching those kind of videos haven't you bro don't lie to me I know you have tons of videos you've spent your time on watching how to get your ex-girlfriend back do you know how I know this because I've been the exact I've been on the exact same boat I have done the exact same things and it's going to make you nothing but more sad more upset more frustrated more angry so you need to take those negative emotions and apply it into doing something positive in your life use those negative emotions as fuel next what I want you to do is start eating healthy start eating a healthy diet stop eating junk food stop eating a whole lot of carbs make sure you eat enough protein and enough vegetables I'm not saying don't eat carbs make sure your proteins are high and your carbs are lower than your proteins and don't drink soda none of that just eat fruit and vegetables you're gonna get plenty of sugar and all the vitamins and minerals that you need when you eat good food your body starts to feel better your mind starts to work at its 100% capacity your, your body starts to work at its 100% capacity it starts to feel better about yourself that's why start eating healthy just take these five steps okay number one 
start making money right now. Whatever job you have to pick up, whatever job you have to go do, start applying, start going out to people, start go knocking door to door on employers' doors, on your local coffee shop, wherever it is that you have to get a job at. No job is disrespectful. Every job is important, so do it. Second, get an education if you don't already have one or a degree or a certificate or a skill that's going to be helpful, that pays a lot of money. Do your research on that too. Don't just go to college to get a business degree. Don't just go to college to get some bullshit degree. Make sure whatever you're going after has a value. Number three, what was number three? Crap, I talked so much I even forgot completely. Go rewind and watch my video. But number four, start working out. Oh, number three. No, wait, before number three, number one and two. If you, if, in, in the process of doing so, in the process of getting a good job or getting any job and getting an education, if you have to move in the process of doing so, move. Go to another place. Number three, what did I say to number three, man? Why can't I remember? Was it only four points? I can't remember. But number four, or number three, I don't know which one it is, doesn't matter. Start working out. And number five, and the last point, start eating healthy. Don't even date a girl. Don't even approach a girl. Don't even talk to girls. Don't even try to game them. Don't even try to get their number. None of that. Take the next two years. Just the, the, the next two years, okay? I know it, it's, it's longer than you think, but it's going to pass just like that. Time flies, fellas. Time flies. Take the next two years and work on yourself. Develop yourself. Okay? Follow me on Instagram, at Zeke Peak. And the reason why I say don't even approach any girls, don't even do mess with girls, is because when you come out of this two-year period, and in this two-year period, you're actually grinding, you're actually making money, you're actually bettering your body, working out, you're going to be much better off. You're going to be much more attractive to a lot more women. And then you're going to have success with dating women. Right now, you're broke dating. You don't have a whole lot of money. You're just trying to scrape up some money to go date women. But when you actually build your life up, now you don't have to do that approaching as much as you used to. Now, women are going to start giving you choosing signals. Now, women are going to find you more attractive. They're going to want to be with you. You're going to be that better option option that your girlfriend left you for you're going to be that guy that your girlfriend left you for that's the guy you're going to be some other guy's girlfriend is probably probably going to leave him for you but you only are going to be able to live a lifestyle like that when you better your and improve your lifestyle because women are attracted to that that's what women want from a man especially in the third world countries where they don't have the government to help them so they need a financially reliable and secure man to rely on follow me on instagram at zeke peak ask me questions dm me questions there i check my instagram dms a lot more than youtube comments hope this video made sense like comment subscribe share this video to your friends until next time stay blessed stay beautiful and above all stay classy